So today I have a funny story. My Xbox controller recently broke and I could not believe that GameSir decided to send me a controller out of the kindness of their heart for me to take a look at. I do have to say if the controller looks disgusting in this video, it's because I've been using it non-stop for the past two weeks. Part of that being it came with one month of Game Pass Ultimate. So I was able to do the Liberty Falls Easter egg in Black Ops 6 all thanks to this controller. Anyways, I've now had a few days to put some good hours into this controller and it's one of the better ones I've had the pleasure of using. The quality is really nice and well made. The back buttons are conveniently placed and the controller feels great in the average size set of male hands. There's no better way to put a controller to the test than playing a platform fighter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, don't mind the gameplay. I'm just terrible at this game, don't worry. It's okay, cause the game's dead anyway. This controller has Hall Effect triggers and sticks, meaning the only way that you're gonna get stick drift is if you're unfortunate and your controller has faulty sensors. The only real downfall I can attribute to this controller is the lack of trigger stops. But I have to say, the triggers still feel amazing. And after a while, I honestly don't even really notice the lack of stops. In my opinion, the negatives of the controller are that like most third party controllers, it's wired only. Although it comes with a generously long threaded cable. I mean, this thing is like three meters. Me personally, I prefer wired, but a majority don't. There's no interchangeable thumbsticks, although I haven't really taken a look around. I haven't found a way to calibrate the controller. And lastly, there's only two rear buttons. That's not a deal breaker for me, but it might be for some others. Ultimately, for the price point, this controller is really, really hard to beat. I'd honestly rank this as the number one budget controller and close to one of the best overall. I'm gonna give this controller a nine out of 10, mostly because I've been using it to play every game that requires a controller for the last month, and it's really grown on me. I've used it equally on Xbox and PC. I'm not glazing, but for real, whenever I use this controller, I feel like this. But yeah, if you're looking for a controller, definitely check out GameSurf.